are some of the best links to click on. So welcome. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Thanks for having me. Okay, we've all heard about people climbing Mount Everest, yes. but a dog, yes. tell me about this. So, um, little known fact, the internet happens to like animals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, a secret of the trade. Breaking yeah. news. Uh, so, <laughs> there was this amazing photo going around, and one of our reporters dug into what the story was, and it's uh, a dog named Rupee, who was found by a woman named Joanne in a North Indian garbage dump. Oh, as an eight month old puppy, and she decided to take the dog with her on her travels up to the top of Mount Everest and is now reported to be maybe the only dog ever to make it to the top. That is amazing, and he's so cute. He is. And oh my as you gosh. can see, he didn't make it walking all the way. He had a Sherpa in case he got tired who put him in a little basket, which is <laughs> so adorable. It's actually hard to look at. It's that so cute. is too cute. Dude, oh. that just made my Monday. At yeah. first, I thought it was not photoshopped, but actually just like in front of a fake backdrop. It does. It, it looks, looks so like beautiful. It. Yeah. He, but I and guess he just looks, looks so proud too. He looks like I did the right. He wow. looks like a golden retriever mix or something. Yeah. yeah. Really adorable. Um, All right. So next up, a cat. Yes. I was just saying, a cat <laughs> playing piano at the top of Mount Everest. No. Yeah. Someday though. Yeah. Uh, so when you grow up in a certain culture. You get used to a certain type of food, and when you see the foods from other cultures, it strikes you as strange. So, some people from China were asked to react to common American food. Right. So, um, one of my favorite kinds of blogs to follow are actually um, teachers who are teaching English in other countries because their experiences are so cool and varied. And there's one girl I follow, uh, she teaches uh, in China, and she happened to do a class about American food. And the reactions are unbelievably confused. <laughs> they could not understand what clam chowder was. They didn't understand that you would put milk in soup. Milk in soup? No, it <laughs> says. <laughs> right, so she had the students write their reactions on this PowerPoint presentation that she put online. Oh, chocolate chip cookies, they like those very those much. Those universal. universal. Yes, yeah. yeah. What about grits and uh, biscuits and gravy? Uh, they summed it up with no and ew. No, <laughs> and ew. why eat that? <laughs> <laughs> and that is not good. Oh yeah. my gosh. Wait, but you know what? Pizza and red velvet cake, they got some different reactions, right? Right. So um, half of them, you know, they liked the red velvet. A few of them thought it might have been meat. Uh, it's kind You're of a kidding. thicker cake. You know, it's bright red. Pizza, though, you know, that's... Everyone loves pizza. That is awesome. Well, at least they have good taste when it comes to pizza. Of course, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, I saw this next one last night on the Internet, because instead of going to bed when I should, I'm trolling Twitter. And you have to see this tuba player's reaction <laughs> when the camera comes upon his rehearsal room. <laughs> <laughs> now, was, that is awesome. Was the person with the camera wearing a bright wig or something? Or? I, I, my thought was that maybe the tuba player just got really into playing the tuba, and he was, you know, maybe doing a cool tuba solo, and he got interrupted, and it spooked him. Um, but there's a lot of really hilarious remixes. They put his <laughs> scream over uh, "I Feel Good" by James Brown. So it's like, ah, I feel good, you know. It's it was pretty good. Oh my <laughs> gosh, he will never live that down. No, oh, so, okay. So finally, what is a bat cat? Um, when Bat Kid was trending on Friday, it was a Batman frenzy online. And so the guys over at Total Film put together a one-step guide to turning your face into Batman if you happen to have a cat. Um, and it's <laughs> as simple as draping the cat on your head. That is genius, Ryan. Uh, wow. Oh, just a few weeks too late for Halloween. Yes. Darn it. There's lot. always next year, Jody. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Ryan Broderick from BuzzFeed. Thank you for bringing this thank to you. us. And now let's head on over to John. Let's see what's going on.